Yo everyone, uh, so the moderators and Bard are calling me out on forum saying you can't modify your keys to pretty much push a single key and be able to do a skill command. But I'm going to show you how to do that and the first inexpensive way of doing this is to get a program called AutoHotKey, like so, AutoHotKey.com. And this will allow you to create hotkey scripts. And in the script, you just put a little bit of coding. Say so if you wanted to do, for example, one of my commands, blaring burst, uh, that is shift and F. Instead, I can just hit the F key and make it execute shift and F by having the scripts running at all times. You can have multiple scripts running, so you can have like two things run at once and do whatever you want when you push tab, even, f, whatever key you want to assign to this. This does not modify the game files at all and is not a bannable offense, so I don't know why the moderator deleted my post on it. The second way to be able to modify commands is to get a gaming peripheral such as a keyboard or mouse that allows you to use software to create macros which is the same thing as like running a script and you can see I can have Wingrave on which is the shift E command it'll do shift and E I can just equip that to whatever part of the mouse that I have which is a Razer Naga and it'll be on my 12 key so next part of this video, I'm actually going to log into game since I can't record my desktop and game at the same time. I did this part first, and I'll do demonstrations of using these skills with the uh, modified button or whatever. All right, we are now in game, and I'll show you how these whoa these things work in game. So naturally, when you hit the F key, let me turn off the little script. So when I, I hit the F key, as you can see, I'm just hitting F, bring it out. It'll do the stomp. You actually have to hit Shift and F to be able to do this blaring burst, or you have to hit Shift and E to do a wind raid. And to prove that I can do this, my 12 is pretty much on my mouse as you saw it was the macro for windy uh, shift and E and if I push it it does do wind rave on a specific key so that allows you to use commands as a single button push rather than anything else or whatever to reset it. So I'm just pushing 12 and the N key to reset my cooldowns and do windy. <laughs> Infinite combo with windy. Um, now the other way was the blaring burst with the auto hotkey program. If I hit F, uh, it'll execute blaring burst instead of actually hitting shift F. So all I do is just double click the script while in game. It doesn't kick me off or anything because it's not a hack. It is not anything that will get you banned. It is just a modification of your pretty much key settings and if you push F it'll execute shift F instead of F. So now when I hit F it executes the shift F. As you can see I'm just hitting F it is executing shift F. When I do push the F key now I don't actually have to hit shift anymore and I can execute blaring burst pretty easily. This works on shift commands I can do it on non shift commands say ring shear kick. Ring shear kick is back F so now my ring shear kick command does not actually work anymore because that is sh sh it's hitting shift F when I do that. So it will have conflicting uh, cases like this and you should probably modify multiple scripts to handle that. Let me go in and change the script just so it works with ring shear. I gotta just change this shift to S instead in the little script file. Rerun it. I 
And now when I hit F, it does the ring shear. I'm not hitting 5. Take it off the 5 key. So you see it's doing back F. When I do push F, this is what does come up on my uh, text. So it, I am hitting two keys at the same time virtually and doing the command. By hitting a single key, I can change this to tab if I wish. Uh, I will do now change it to tab actually instead. Mother after I reopened the script. So instead of uh, F, I'll just the key state of tab. Alright. So now when I push tab, the tab key, I, <laughs> I am hitting tab right now. So my F key is this. Uh, it doesn't do anything else. Just pushes F, S and F. And then tab key will execute S and F. So as you can see, if I hold it down, it'll just do that. I'm just holding tab down. So it is possible, and good job, people, for providing incorrect answers to that one person's question on forms.